Uh, tomorrow we're going to have a day in town and then we're going to start the uh, very well known fat kayak loop. And here's Kel drinking her mystery orange drink out of a plastic bag with thinking pawpaw, possibly carrot. Orange. Something orange. morning in the rain. It's still raining now but only slightly. It is indeed over whether we should uh, push on and do the famous that cake loop in central Laos. We're going to give it a go so hopefully the rain holds off and we don't get the massive thunderstorms that we had this morning so fingers crossed. All right we just had a great feed and I'm now going to order my crepe for dessert. So here we go. Subway D. Hi, Subway D. Yeah uh, the um, crepe with the Banana and the chocolate, chocolate, yeah, chocolate and the uh, teacup. There we go. So uh, it'll come with sweet condensed milk. <laughs> it'll come with banana and it should come with chocolate. Fingers crossed. So she's laughing at me. That is never a good sign. There we go. Looks fantastic. I've been told, however, by my better half, that I'm not allowed to try it. Fine. I'm not allowed. Well, hey, it's hers. But in reality, I'm not allowed to try it until it's got cold enough to enjoy. So, yeah, fair enough. Anyway, we're leaving the um, Thick Kick Night Market. Uh, we've been here for three nights now. We were going to do the loop today, but we just weren't feeling the vibe with the first couple of places closed. And so, uh, so what we did is we went to the Buddha cave. Uh, it was all right. And uh, and tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow we're definitely going to leave. So uh, we are enjoying that kick more than we thought we would. And that is the road to the Fartin Cave on the Thakayak Loop. So we've left the uh, really main road to the Vietnam border and we're now on the Thakek loop proper. We've got about 30 k's to ride uh, to get to our uh, guest house on the river. And uh, after a little bit of drizzle in Thakek this morning, it's turned into a really, a really quite a lovely ride. We have arrived at the Fozzy Guest House or Fozzy Thalane Guest House. I am now relaxing in the hammock on our private little balcony or deck that overlooks the lake. So we're about to leap back on our bikes and ride another 15 k's 
back the way we came to Orchid Trail. Not sure what that'll be like. Uh, there's nothing on the internet about it. Looked a bit muddy, but the first word is easy on the sign. So 30 minute walk, hopefully it'll be a nice lookout. Made it to the top of the Senseida lookout. When it said easy, I think it was just talking about the time because it's really quite steep, muddy and horrible. But the view, really, really great. So that's the huge big Hydro Lake. It looks like it's been reasonably recently flooded. And uh, you can see all the islands and trees in there and taking some great photos. So yeah, well worth the walk, not on any tourist maps, guides, or the internet, but we saw a sign, so up we came. So we've just finished our first day on the, th what is it, the th heck? Thick, the Th heck loop. Our first day on the Thick heck loop. Uh, we did about 100 k's, so it wasn't too much riding. There's lots of caves to visit. Unfortunately, most of them are sort of underwater, so you can't get in. Um, we did do one really cool walk to a lookout. Yeah, it was the uh, San Sandesa lookout, I think, and uh, it overlooks the Nakia. Oh, it's, it's a huge flooded uh, lake, uh, part of the hydro scheme, and it's it's massive, it's got trees coming out of it, loads of islands. Uh, you can get boat tours around it and things like that, it's super beautiful. And now we're in a town called Philang, which uh, has only a couple of little guest houses and not much else. Um, ours is a little bungalow over the water. Um, we're just having a quiet beer watching the world go by, it's very pleasant. Mm -hmm. 